All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, uh, I need your feedback on this one. Uh, this watch, the Pedral Artifact, was sent to me by the owner. It's going to be here for quite a while as the guy's going in for surgery and whatnot. So once all that's clear, uh, you're looking at it won't be released on Kickstarter until Q4, the end of the year anyway. Um, but is oh just quick disclaimer um once a, the campaign and all that starts uh kevin the owner he has promised me one of these in the color of my choice uh but in the meantime while we watch this here for a good few months this prototype he wants constructive feedback on anything that i would change and i thought i'll tell you what i'll change and then I'll ask you guys to in the comments to tell me if there's anything that you would add or something I've missed. No, oh, just knocked the camera. Um, and that's I'll give you, uh, I'll go over the, the specs and that quickly, um, and then we'll talk about the changes that are already been planned, plus the changes I would make, and then obviously you can leave your comments and that and what you would change right play the intro <laughs> right first up we'll try and rattle through the specs and that quickly uh, I'll show you the, the box quickly Nice box, nice packaging. Uh, you got a tool for sizing the, the bracelet. You got spare links in there, cushion there. Uh, you got another wee tool in there for making adjustments and whatnot. Uh, we spill up there. Anyway, we're not really talking about the packaging. I don't believe the packaging will change much for production. It's good packaging anyway, so. Right, so here we have it. The Pedro Artifact. He sent me, like, the wine red version dial. The price, I've not got a clue. Uh, I've not been given any price details and that, but obviously for a Kickstarter launch, you're probably looking at under $500. Um... I, I, it could be le a lot less than that. I don't know. I've no idea. Uh, right, I'll tell you the, the specs quickly. Uh, I've took my own measurements and whatnot. Uh, case diameter, you're looking at 40.3. That's from... Oh, we're a bit far out here, aren't we? Let's zoom in a wee bit. Aye, right. Case diameter, you're looking at 40.3 millimetres. The thickness is 11.2 mil. Uh, lug to lug, I measured in at 47.3 and the lug width, well it doesn't really matter because it's an integrated uh, bracelet. The movement inside this is the Salita SW200 and it's the Elaborate grade which runs at 28,800 vibrations an hour, that's 4 hertz, it's got 26 joules, hackable, self-winding and it has a 38 hour power reserve. The case itself is brushed and polished. Uh, 316L stainless steel, obviously. Uh, the finishing, I mean, this is a really early prototype. But the finishing is outstanding. I've got to say, um, it, you got horizontal brushing on the mid case. Uh, brushed on top as well. You've got a nice uh, polished chamfered edge there running along the top and along the bottom. So you've got that bit there and you've got your undercut as well. Um, the, the fixed bezel is polished at the lower section and then brushed on top, which is a good choice. You might also be looking... Oh, is that dust on my camera or dust on the watch? It's my camera, never mind. 
Um, where was that? Ah, you might be looking at the case and go, well, that's a weird shape. Well, it's a rhombus by like, well, that's what I'm calling it. It's like a rhombus shape, but with rounded edges rather than sharp edges. I really like it. I do. I find it really unusual. And I've had a lot of comments on it when I have been wearing it. And even my wife likes this one and she doesn't really give a shit about watches. But she she likes it. She even likes the colour. It wouldn't be my colour choice. I'm not sure what other colour choices are going to be. Uh, I'm not. Maybe a white one would be delicious. But I, I'm not sure. I think you've got this off the top of my head. You've got this kind of wine red kind of colourway. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think there's like a, a peach one. Uh, I can't can remember, I'm just clutching at straws. Uh, right, where was I? Uh, I've told you about the bezel, blah, blah, blah. The dial, it's a sound construction, right? In fact, I'll just tell you the specs first rather than what I would change. Right, you've got a sandwich construction. It's got a gear shape pattern in the middle there, as you can see. Would you call that a sector dial with a... Because it's like step, I don't know, I don't know what the terminology is. So basically, you've got that pattern in the middle of the gear shape pattern, and it's like a, a, a smooth where the sandwich construction is with the Arabics and that uh, right around the edge. And you've got a date at six, you've got a uh, fence post hands, and that's basically it. Loom wise, you're looking at BGW9. The bracelet is outstanding. See the way this thing. See when it. See when you've got it on wrist. I mean, I, you're not going to get this on camera. Uh, but the way it catches the light with the wee small polished accents. Uh, you got. Uh, see how it's. You've got that polished part there along the top of the case, or that continues right along the top edge, like a wee chamfered edge all the way along the top of the bracelet as well. Uh, forget that, because you'll no see that again. I'll talk about that later, the clasp. <coughs> um, flat sapphire crystal, and where is it? And you've got three layers of anti-reflective coating. And it does do a good job, I've got to say. More so on the natural light. Take it outside. Ah, it's, it's extremely legible. And, um, I believe, I'm guessing, right, that this has got 100 metres of water resistance. Uh, I can't find any other details. And I, when I did speak to Kevin before he went into hospital... He never actually mentioned what the water resistance was, so I'm guessing it's about 100 metres. Because this is basically like a sports watch with, like, well, a dressy sports watch, I would say. Um, case back. You've got an exhibition display. And I believe that is sapphire crystal. And you've got various specs around the edge. This watch is one of one. Which is nice. But here, as I say, it is a prototype. And there are changes being made for production. Uh, you can see there, limited edition, blah, blah, blah. You do get a unique serial number as well. Uh, and as I say, it's changed... Well, he's not changed, he's customised the rotor a wee bit and put, like, Pedro watches on there. And that's basically it. It is a nice watch. I do like it. And I've actually, I have been wearing this. Uh, right, where am I? The crown is 6.5 mil, And it's signed. Uh, Warranty-wise, you're looking at two years international. And I believe, well, I think it's one year, and once you register on their site, you you get upgraded to two. So, 
Happy days. Can't go wrong with two years warranty. Um, I two years warranty. Right, let's talk about the changes. I'll first tell you what the changes that are already planned. The first one being is that butterfly clasp has been removed and changed to a fully milled uh, deployment clasp with micro adjusts and all the rest of it. So happy days, because that would have been my first thing that I would have mentioned in my changes is change out that clasp just so you can get some micro just so you get that perfect fit so that's a tick from me he also said that the arabics will be a lot more defined i'll go into that with my own details um the second hand will also be loomed i probably a loom tip i don't think the whole thing will be loomed I just maybe a wee arrow section or just dipped so the tip is uh, loomed to match the, re the other hands and whatnot. Uh, what else did he say? Oh, I the date window will be changed to circular. Just show you that now. I actually like the date window that's on this. It's got see how it's cutting into that gear shape pattern there, and it's got a it, that's not a frame, it's actually. A chamfered edge that goes all the way around. You can see it there in the light. I actually like the date window as is. Um, right, my changes. The ones that I, I would like to see happen is. Now, he mentioned in the plan changes, right, that the Arabic numerals will be more defined. I actually think, right, see if you look close at the Arabics, right? Let me see if I can get this in focus. If you look uh, like one, two, three, you'll see like they're cut uh, like halfway through the Arabic and it's the same all the way around. Personally speaking, I would remove that because it does affect the loom. Uh, Plus, with it being a sandwich dial, I don't, I think the loom could be a lot better. I would, to be honest with you, I wouldn't bother with a disc underneath. Because it's affecting the loom. Unless you make the disc, you know, a lot better loom-wise, then fine. But my main change, I would say, is get rid of the like slashes and cuts through the arabics i don't think it suits the watch just go away normal keep the same font the font's fine but i wouldn't have the slashes through it just normal arabics i would have and have them so the loom of the arabics matches the loom on the hands because the loom on the arabics just fades too quickly Whereas the loom on the hands is it's actually really good. I'll show you a loom shot in a bit. But that's the first change I would make is that. The second change I would make is the crown at the moment, it's perfectly sized, it's signed, plenty of grip. However, just my own personal preference, I would have it as screw down rather than push pull. Um I'm not going to go into any changes to the case or anything because the case is fantastic. I can't fault the case. It's perfect size and it conforms to your wrist perfectly. The finishing on it is superb. And I love the shape. This kind of rhombus shape with circular edges. I like it. I do really like it. Right, my last change that I would make is the logo. See how the logo is at three? Nah, get rid of that. I know it might be like how Christopher Ward used to be and they used to put theirs at nine. That, see when you've got the logo in a weird position like that, that's going to be polarising for your customer base. Put the logo below the twelve then the whole dial is symmetrical. The date is 6, logo below the 12, 
perfect. Move it away for three. Uh, the last change I would make, given the choice, is I would colour match the date wheel because that date sticks out like a sore thumb. And that's basically it. Now, if you can think of any other uh, changes that you think that should be done now, disregard the case because I don't think any changes need to be made to that. The bracelet is super comfortable and he's changing the clasp anyway, so I don't think there's any changes need to be made to that. I would say it's all about the dial. Just a, It's no a major change. Just tidy up the arabics, make the loom better, colour match the date wheel and make the crown screw down. And that would be a banging watch. Total superb watch. Right, I'll give you a wrist shot in a minute. Quick wrist check. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me zoom out. Right, quick wrist check. I'm wearing my Christopher Ward uh, C63 Sealander. Love that watch. Absolutely perfection on wrist. Beautiful dial. Beautiful finishing. But this is near a review of that. Right, there's a wrist check. Uh, no wrist check, wrist shot. As you can see, sits on my wrist. Superb. I wouldn't change anything about that. And it looks great on wrist. Can't fault it. Right, if you give me a sec, I'll turn all the lights off. And give you a loom shot. Now remember, prototype. Loads of changes. There you go. Loom shot. I mean, you can see the loom in the Arabics, but I mean, trust me when I say it, they fade really quick. Uh, the loom in the hands, however, brilliant, can't kind of fault it. Lasts for ages. Uh, good, strong application of loom there. Uh, just the Arabics, that whole sandwich thing, it just doesn't work on this watch, in my opinion. Um, right, that's basically it, guys. Uh, remember, uh, leave us comments tell me what you change uh, or if you agree with the changes that I've made or you disagree maybe you just like the watch as is definitely needs better loom though on the Arabics that's got to happen anyway uh, thanks for watching guys uh, please like and subscribe uh, and I'll see you in your next one toodles